everybody. I am right here, uh, playing Seven Deadly Sins. Anyways, so I'm right here, I'm playing Seven Deadly Sins, and I noticed that right now is a really good time to reroll. Um, so this is just a quick guide on how to do that, and a pretty, in my opinion, pretty efficient way to uh, do this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go through the tutorial. You can reset an account at any time. So all you have to do to reset, reset data, hit yes, and then it's going to, you're going to go through a tutorial. The tutorial is forced. You can't skip it. You can just rush through it. It takes a good five, ten minutes to go through it. I, I just do other stuff while I'm doing this. Uh, but I figured right here I'm going to show this because you can get about nine rolls, which Look, there's some really, really, really good characters in this uh, pool. So, if you look at this, um, Journey for Peace, Wandering Gother, he's pretty good, in my opinion. I like the cleanse, and I like um, how he synergizes really well with um, Seven Deadly Sins characters. On top of that, I, I maxed him out in another account, one of my old accounts. the Like, my OG account for this game. He does decent damage. It's not amazing, but it's pretty decent. Now, on top of that, you also have a uh, male of sunshine and you have um, uh, queen hail. I am trying to re-roll to get these three. That would be the perfect run for me. I have been going through it right now. I've done so many re-rolls and it has not gotten to me for any luck right now. I got a couple close ones that I'm going to see if I can pull a couple more to see if I can get male on. But I did get an account where I got mail and I got hail, and that account, whenever I play it, they are so OP. They're just fun to play with. Trust me, like, some, sometimes the, the damage, I'm staring at it, and I'm like, fuck, that's dirty. That is dirty how much damage there is. But, anyways. So, right now, if you look at this, uh, there's hail and mail. Um, there's also some other decent ones, like, look, they have the Wave of Earth, Queen Diane, they have Escanor the One. Um, Merlin's alright. I, I never really got to try her out that much. I've been playing with Lulu Seal, um, when I was, uh, in my, uh, other account, Sunny account, where I have, uh, Mail and Hail. And the, I like the damage boost that you get, uh, when using her, or him. It's always been weird. Anyways. Um... Yeah, no, so so right now, the, the for me, the golden pull is going to be if I get uh, Mail, Hill, uh, and uh, Gother. Just because I feel like that's a really good team. Anybody else after that is whatever. Um, there's a couple of really good ones where, like, you can build up a team. Because I was looking at the tier list, right? And then I was playing around with it for a little bit. And I was seeing that this one over here, um, like, for example, to build a team around Mail, you could do Mail, right? The, of the Sunshine. You could do Luzio Seal. You can do um, New Legend, Princess Elizabeth. You could also do um, Covenant of Light, Tarmiel. So that that team right there, fucking OP already. Any any combination of that, and you have a really good team to clear up until like chapter 200 easy. Especially if you progress naturally, like follow the directions. Because this game is really fun. It's really fun and it's really easy. It's super detailed, like. I've seen the anime and I've seen the game. The game is better than the anime. Like, I'm just saying. Anyways, um, that aside, so there's a team for male right there. So like, let's say you don't get hail and you just want male, right? There's a team for male. And I was looking, there is also a team for hail because so hail's ability is to do the unique. Um, she inflicts sources of pain and that empowers her very quickly. Well, that also works with Unknowns, which is the class or the race type, Unknown, and the Ragnarok crew. So you have uh, Unknown with Gother, you have Unknown with Hail, so if anybody attacks, that's one source of pain each. And then on top of that, you also have Merlin, daughter of uh, Baolin, so that one does it really well too, because she's an Unknown, so that applies to her. And then, I was looking at these, and the Ragnarok crew is here, so you have Princess Belfide, she's really OP, I've... I've I haven't maxed her up, but I've already um, boosted her pretty well in another account, up to I think like level 70, and she's doing decent damage at that point. Just kind of like Mail and uh, Escanor, maybe a little bit less, or Light Escanor. By the way, I have a Light Escanor, he is fucking OP, and I also have the um, uh, uh, Arthur um, Chaos, Chaos King, or whatever it is, the, the most recent one. 
I have them in the same account. Dude, Escanor is so fucking broken. I am jealous though, because I, I was trying to draw for Meliodas. I was really, really trying to get Meliodas, and I kept on re, re, uh, redrawing, um, but I really didn't get anything. Besides the point. Um, let's see, there's Ragnarok for Queen Hale. So I, I've been seeing uh, Sun God Fear, really good. Um, he, like, the longer the battle goes, the more he powers up, and the more he powers up your, your team with his unique ability. And then there was also, I really hate Valkyrie Megalida. I, I receive her so many times, and I've always been disappointed because she sounds good, but she's like for Demonic Beast Battle. I want somebody OP like Mei or Hale, you know? Anyways, uh, God War of Tear, he's really good for uh, critical damage, so that he could work really well with um, Hale, um, because he's, a, he's Ragnarok and he's unknown, uh, I believe, either that or God. Uh, the Goddess of Beauty, Freya, she could be, uh, you could have uh, Tear, Hale, and Freya. Freya is a really good tank, uh, Tear is really good for the critical, um, and then Hale is really good for the debuffs. And on top of that, she has a debuff skill. Um, which reduces the critical of your enemy, the critical of strike, I believe, and the critical chance. So the damage and the, the percentage, which again is really, really good. Now, obviously, if there's debuffs like uh, debuff immunity, then you're gonna want to go for male because male is just straight damage. His grace just gives you 20% damage just because, and you don't need to do anything to um, upgrade it. Uh, I'm really curious to see how strong he'll be once I build him up. I do have an account where he's just level 90, but I haven't touched that account because it is tedious to rerun an account and then get all the way up to like chapter 100 because that's more or less where you're really going to start enjoying the game. Chapter 1 to 100, if you've been playing the game for as long as I have been, you get tired of it. I just AFK. I watch like TV shows. I think I watched like two movies with my wife recently while I was just like going through the chapters like randomly. And and that's the really cool thing about Escanor and uh, uh, male hell, like these like really super powerful characters. If there's a really tedious beginning part, um, these guys can just beat you through it. Like you can take the normal route where you're like, eh, I'm just going to kick it and not really do anything. Uh, I want to enjoy the experience of the game because, again, there's, the game is really good, it's worth playing. I've just been playing it multiple times. Then that's perfectly fine, but if you want to skip through it, then these guys are fucking amazing. And then, trust me, by the time you get to chapter 500, which is where my main account is at, because I was just really trying to get um, gems to draw on um, Light Escanor and uh, Chaos Arthur, um, and uh, Hail and Mail, but I ended up getting Gozer there. Regardless, um, even at chapter 500, like, I still need really good characters, and those guys are going to be able to get you through all the way over there. I'm not saying you need them, but it'll make a life a lot easier, and in PvP, they're fucking broken. I've taken down, um, some really strong teams. I've taken down a, um, uh, the, the Demon King of Leotis, the Demon King and Esterosa teams uh, with uh, Chaos Arthur and Light Escanor. It's been clutch and honestly more time, more more often than not I lose when I fight those teams. But I've been able to clutch out a win because the, the characters are just really that good. So anyways, way I wish I got the real for like a good eight minutes. Oh well, sorry. I guess we just needed to talk. Now, right now the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because you get this, the community reward, the community reward, and it looks like it's going to be for the next 20 days, I believe. If you, if you log in right now um, and create an account, you get all these um, gems, see, like special celebration. So right now I think I received about, you're also going to want to collect these, um, this one down here, the one with the 5,000 or uh, 5 million gold. What you're going to do is... Uh, initially, you're going to use these tickets that are provided by the um, uh, by the festival, right? So you're going to get those right away as a reward right after the tutorial. You're going to exit the tutorial right after the tutorial, um, you fight the... Um, oh, she, I'm telling you, she, she just appears and she's disappointing to see because that could have been a gother, that could have been male, that could have been hail, that could have been anything else, but it had to be her and I... Just, my my wife was helping me draw like some of these characters like i'm like hey sweetie like try this out let's see if you have any luck she's gotten some really awesome pulls 
but a, a couple of times like she pulls and like we just see her and we're like oh like it's her again anyways um so you're going to be using uh these challenge achievements right here to get more uh diamonds to achieve enough uh enough pulls so right now i'm gonna get up to 210 give or take i'm gonna collect uh, 30 in a bit uh, i'm just gonna collect these and that's why i said to collect the uh, 5 million gold because the gold uh, um, having that much gold in your inventory is actually an achievement which means you get more uh diamonds which more diamonds means more gold so we're at 221 diamonds that's about seven poles i think and then plus the tenth the first uh ten pole that we get for free oh okay this is a really good time uh, anyways okay the kid is fine i i i've been needing to get um the um red elizabeth for a minute so if this account does really well i wouldn't mind keeping it there. But honestly, sometimes you get the red Elizabeth and you get scared, and that's it. Like, I've been really a lot. Anyways, so, as I was saying, you're using the achievements to get the diamonds. Um, I got the kid again, right? It's one of those. It's one of those. Honestly, um, I might just be, uh, what do you call it? Um, Dropping the other counts that I made, so I think I have like seven at this point. But it's just like like nice to get like a really nice combination. Like the only one I'm really willing to like allow to like to to be taken care of for like two games. So I I think I've thrown four accounts recently. Um, the only one that I'm willing to keep would be is the golden combination. Here or not here, but some god's good. He's all right. He. Like, Really good combination with tail. Um, the one that I would want to keep is the golden trio. Um, I haven't seen it. It doesn't look like it's going to be this pull. Uh, I'll keep on playing. I really tried to get the um, Dark Meliodas, uh and when I first returned, oh, hey, um, Queen, uh, or Earth, uh, Earth thing. Okay, so here's the here's the next part of the tutorial, actually. So right now we have 240, um, uh, 240 gems, right? So you have 240 gems that you already pulled, um, and you want to get to 300 because this is going to let you guarantee one of these characters now. It doesn't mean you're going to get the featured characters or the characters that you want, right? Uh, trust me, I've gotten to this point and it takes a while. And I did everything I'm about to tell you and I didn't get anything. I ended up getting somebody like fucking, I don't know. Um, the Pierce Lucine, or the Celestial Ele uh, Latte. She's not bad, but not even slightly what I wanted. So, um, you go through here and you get the other, um, the other challenges, and you get more growth. See, so recruit 20 heroes, so you're gonna put... Now, the reason I'm kind of willing to go through this, uh, effort for this account is because I saw the, um, the Queen of Earth, uh, Diane. I saw the tier, er, not tier, I saw the sun god, I saw the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, another one that was pretty decent, um, so I'm gonna pull, try one more pull, and if I get a decent reason to continue this account, I'll show you how to get to 300, uh, with some effort, because, um, some accounts, uh, they just barely good enough to keep if I manage to get one good character in them. And I'm very lenient, but uh, if it doesn't work out, then I just delete them, which kind of sucks. But if anything, I can just leave the code of for this one, like, on on the video, if I don't want to keep it. And then if somebody wants it, they can just take it. Okay, so close that. So I got those. We're going to go to the shop. And this also really sets you up for um, just playing the game in general, if you are actually new. Uh, go to the coin shop, and then you're going to go buy these red horns, the red demon horns, collect. This is going to set you up for um, evolution materials. Go get the max quality, get five. Don't worry about um, gold coins right now, as you're going to progress the game. You're going to get more than enough diamonds, you're going to get more than enough um, stuff to like get these gold coins. You get these gold coins from drawing in the festival, and they're like duplicates of gold um, draws. They're useful. But um, they're not like life threatening. You're not gonna die if you overuse them. 
you're if you play the game long term you're going to have in the realm of like hundreds i in my other account i have more than a couple hundred um i wasn't i didn't mean to use the xp or the hands uh, potion what i was going to tell you is select the this one right here the stamina recovery potion max it out to however many silver you have and just exchange and that's actually going to be really useful because this game is super grindy um, unless you have skip tickets, but you get that just through playing the fucking game. So, yeah, you're gonna, you're, if you're, like, really gonna play this game, you're gonna leave this, like, on loop while you're sleeping. Because I don't think it has, like, proper AFK mode. But let's see. But that, that was back in the day. Now, nowadays, they give you a lot of, um, a lot of free items and a lot of free, like, boots to get you kind of going. For example, there's an event right now, that's why, like, this, uh, Goku was released. Let's see, I think it's going to allow me to keep on going, because these, uh, this thing that I did right now gives you a lot of points when you actually, uh, do it multiple times. So that got me about 13, let's see where am I at, 30, okay, I five, I need two more, so I'm going to go over here, I do I get two more, I'm going to go through the tutorial if I remember correctly. Oh, there's 11 free guys with that, so I I don't actually have to um, go through the tutorials. Um, there's two tutorials that you can go through that'll give you two diamonds. Um, what I'm trying to do right here is get two. Oh, shit. Okay. That's not bad. He's useful because um, whenever he attacks, uh, like, I think he attacks three or four times in a row, he buffs himself up and then he loses the buffs. But once he loses the buffs, he ranks up your cards. If he ranks up your cards, that's really useful because, well, ranking up the cards um, makes him more powerful. You can go from uh, silver to gold and bronze to silver. Uh, makes it making it making the game easier. You know, you want you want to have damaging cards. Now I have the challenge task. Let's see if I can collect a little bit more. Uh, okay, I got those ten. So I'm at twenty three. Okay, this is gonna be the long part because I have twenty three here and I have five here. So it's gonna be thirty. Yeah, it's gonna be ten draws, but I have to go through it manually. So I have to click, 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 click. Uh, as I said, you have to kind of want to keep the account. I'm doing this mostly for the sake of the video to actually, so you can see what you have to do in order to get the diamonds and you get the, uh, um, challenge, uh, task and everything. Because even if you get unlucky and you see that you actually get no blue, um, or no, no good characters, right? Like, I need, like, you got just trash, because trust me, it's happened to me. Um, well, you will. You just get pure trash, like on the first seven draws or eight draws. Don't go through all the effort to get to the, to the 300 uh, to, to get to like that guarantee one because um, the account's not worth it. You're already going to 300 and you can spend like another 10 minutes um, just laying the phone in the background while you do something and you roll the account and you're going to get like another 100, uh, or not another 100, but like another 70 draws, uh, give or take. Yeah, another 80. 80, 90 dollars easily, um, instead of having to kind of try to grind out that account, having to try to, like, do what I'm doing right now. And you have a higher chance of getting the, the, um, the characters that you want. Uh, at least, uh, this is as far as, um, this is as good as it gets, as it gets, at least as far as, um, this event. Um, I just saw how many, um, gems they were giving away from, like, one, I think something they were apologizing for. And then two, I think uh, another thing that was like a community event that gives you a bunch of stuff. Um, so if you want to make a new account, you want to play the game, you want to get back into it, like this is a really good time. Like just read through this and get some really good characters, and that's more or less how I've done it. Okay, so this is the let's see, this is the guaranteed um, one that I've said. So you can get any one of these. For me, this has been the Hail Mary. Like, sometimes I've got in, like, I've got in uh, Merlin, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Ber Burn Hood, um, uh, Sun God Fury, the, um, God of War Tear, um, with, along with the Ludocio, uh, Covenant of Light Tarmiel, Covenant of Light Sario. Like, I have gotten whole teams that, like, would be perfect to fight these, to use these characters around. Like, if I just get, 
you know, like, if I just get hail, like, that team would be so perfect because I could just fucking run and steamroll through anything I want and just enjoy the content, right? I want to do that, I want to build that team. Or, um, I have mail and I want to see, like, oh shit, like, now I have a good tank because I have Tarmio in there and I have Ludosio, so Tarmio tanks, Ludosio buffs, and uh, mail does the damage, and I get a bonus because they're all goddesses because it was unique. Like, I kind of want to do that, and I get really, really close to the to getting uh, to to get this guaranteed one, and I don't end up getting it. I get something else, but this is still a chance, you know. Like this is a guaranteed one of these, so this is the loyalty reward, and it didn't take that long. I think because I was talking for so long, it was like 20 minutes, but it, it can be a lot less, especially if you're just kind of going through it as fast as you can. And see, for example, there see here's a disappointment. I ended up getting um, Covenant of Light Time Meal. That would be awesome if I had, like, uh, um, Mail or uh, Hail, but I don't. He's, uh, I, I didn't pull him at all, so this is one of those accounts that I probably should have just restarted once I only had um, uh, Elizabeth and uh, Tyr. Um, Diane came along and gave me some hope, but... Like I said, I should have re-rolled this, re this account, but for the sake of the video, we didn't. So, I'm not going to reset this one uh, just yet. Uh, you guys can have this. If anybody's curious, I'm going to put... Um, two. Okay. Settings. So, I'm not sure. 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So this is going to be the passcode, if anybody wants this, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, the reason it's called Napoleon is because I've been listening to um, YouTube um, of simple or simplified history about like stuff, and it, it was the French Revolution right now. So if anybody wants this, you can have it. This password is 1234567889, and then the account's right there, it's called Napoleon. I'm gonna go ahead and reset data, and then this is how you re-roll. Um, bear in mind, um, this is loud. I, I have my volume turned off, um, you know, so if you're gonna be re-rolling, just find something else to do. You're gonna go slightly crazy hearing the hearing everything over and over and over again. Like I said, I was watching a movie, uh, so, yeah. Alright, I think we're done here. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, and I hope you found the video entertaining. Goodbye.